In this video from our Sailplane Refinish series, you will learn how to remove mylar in internal seals, remove the flaps, and remove the ailerons. Hello, I'm Sean with Wings and Wheels. Welcome to our new video series on refinishing an LS3A. This sailplane is special to me. My grandfather replaced his ASW15 Hotel Foxtrot for the next Hotel Foxtrot, a new LS3A purchase from the Rolladen Schneider factory in 1978. I started flying this glider at age 16, setting records, flying regional and national competitions. My dad took ownership in the 1990s. The glider was handed to me in 2021. Now with almost 3,000 hours total time, it desperately needs a major inspection, refinish, and instrument upgrade. We're also installing a new Toast disc brake and pneumatic tailwheel. In the late summer of 2022, I drove to Williams, California to meet Danny Schaefer at Schaefer Aviation. They will be completing the refinish and upgrades. Hi everyone, my name is Danny Schaefer, owner and operator of Schaefer Aviation. We specialize in glider repair and refinish. Over the next few months, I'm gonna be going over what it takes to restore a glider. Here we've got a Roll It In Schneider LS3, built in 1978. And it was originally delivered in a gel coat finish. And gel coat is known for having poor UV resistance. So what happens over time is the uh, UV rays penetrate the finish and actually delaminate the gel coat from the underlying structure. Uh, you see it oftentimes as uh, cracking and crazing along the finish and that's what's happening here. Our plan is going to be to strip all the original gel coat down to the underlying structure and build it up with some primer, finish it off with a nice high quality acrylic urethane finish. Acrylic urethane is a lot more of a durable finish. By nature, it is flexible, so it works really well for fiberglass and carbon fiber structures, and it has a lot higher resistance to UV. So we'll start by just ripping off the plastic mylar and safety tape by hand. On the top side of the wing, you have this control fairing and you can see the internal S-seal. We're going to move the internal S-seal back. We're going to get in here with a 10 millimeter wrench. There's just enough room to grab that nut. And we're going to pull this bolt out. Make sure we take order of the washers. Looks like there's two really slim washers there. And a nut and a washer in there that we'll get with the magnet. We're gonna do the same thing with the underside here. Pull all the seals off. So we'll pull the inner seal out. And the flap should pop right out.
We'll do the same thing with the aileron. Danny Schaefer will be completing the major inspection, refinish, and overhaul. Amber, 